So this smartphone costs less than $200 and it's still pretty good. Let's find out. Hey guys, Thunder E here. And I know I haven't done a video in a while, but you can understand why. Uh, I'm back here with a new device that I think you will love because it really cuts down to the core, especially of what's going on today. Now, this device retails for starting around $180. And of course, it goes up in price depending on what variant you're getting because it comes with either six gigs of RAM or uh, eight gigabytes of RAM. Now this Redmi Note 9 Pro Max is quite interesting for its price point. It looks more expensive, first of all. It looks like something that you would pay more money for. It comes with a 6.67 inch display, 1080p, by 2400 uh, also has a fingerprint sensor on the side by the power button which is nice it is fast it is responsive it works really well now under the hood there you've got a snapdragon 720 processor it's a little older processor but still a good processor and especially if you're spending this amount of money you shouldn't be worried about what you're getting in here but performance is fast and snappy as you scroll through you look around within this device uh, you can see how fast and smooth it works and it does a really good job so I like that I like that with you now you can get as I mentioned the six or, or eight gigabyte variant with either 64 gigabytes of RAM or 128 and you've got micro SD storage so with all that there I'm gonna ask okay I like to game what about gaming how does it actually function on a device like this pretty smooth now you're not gonna max out graphical settings on things like PUBG but you're playing PUBG you can play still play it at you know high levels it's smooth and it runs really well it runs well runs without any hiccups and it feels comfortable to play if you're playing call of duty mobile it's the same thing now in terms of temperatures you're going okay it must have a lot of heat 97 degrees it's better than the one plus eight pro which <laughs> ran up to like a hundred and like five so i'm liking where this device stands right now now when it comes to audio some good audio it also has a headphone jack as well so that's actually not bad um, and you know, you've got a bottom firing speaker as well now this charges via USB type C and it's got a 5020 milliamp battery massive so which means you can spend time gaming using this device and you will have no issues because you've got a big battery which charges by the way up to 50% in 30 30 minutes with a 33 watt charger that comes in the box. So again, that's dope. I mean, I like that it has all these cool features. Now, adding to that, you've got a 64 megapixel camera at the back, eight megapixel ultra wide, you've got a depth sensor as well. Uh, so it gives you quite a bit in terms of photo functionality. And that's actually pretty cool because at this price range, you're expecting just horrible images. And images come out well. There's an AI uh, functionality built into it. This is something that Huawei has tried to take the feature. Three, two, one, go, sorry. This is something that Xiaomi has tried to take its features from its uh, high end phones down all the way into the Redmi line here. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, you can take photos 64, 64 megapixels in portrait as well. Uh, also, video, there's nighttime photos it goes on and as you can see they're good again less than 200 dollars. so that to me is actually quite key i think overall i do like the packaging and i like what it brings to the table especially for those who are looking to cut uh, and save costs now speaking of other things you can add to this now this is not sponsored i wanted to kind of throw this in here because i felt it paired quite well i'm talking about the soundcore spirit dots now a lot of you asked me to review this and it was great to actually pair this with a device that doesn't cost that much because also these are budget true wireless buds that also give you some really great performance. So the Soundcore Spirit Dot uh, have a bunch of really cool features. Uh, first of all, it's a charging case, uses columns of USB type C. It's got a lot of bass in there as well. So giving you some nice sound. Overall, the auto quality has been really good. It's a bit bassy, but I like it. You're paying about 79 bucks for this. I think it might be even slightly less, but check the prices in the description. Um, and it gives you a lot of really good sound. Again, they are sweat resistant. So of course you allow you to work out. They fit pretty well in your ears, uh, IPX7 uh, rating. Now you've got a, an hour charge, you've got an hour use with 10 minute charge. So that functionality is built in there. 5.5 hours, you know, with use with the earbuds and up to 16 hours of play time altogether. Uh, touch controls, double tap to play and pause. I like it because it's just portable, simple, and it 
works well together. So if you're trying to save costs um, and you know you're getting like a, a device like this with the Redmi Note notes uh 9 pro max uh, then you can get of course something like the sound core i think they work well now the microphone is not that great on the sound core but it's it's passable enough for your phone calls that's something i would like to see improve but i really like it and i think a lot of people will too overall i think this is a really great pairing between both of them i really like the redmi note 9 uh pro max it gives you a lot great battery life 5000 milliamps right you've got solid cameras for under $200, actually for under $500, bucks. let's just be real here. Um, you've also got great performance while gaming. You know, you've got a 720 processor in here. I think overall, most people will like this package and you, I definitely, if you wanna pick up something that's under $200 or 200 bucks, the 9 Pro Max from Redmi is the way to go. So if you have any questions or any comments, let me know guys. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, stay safe, and always enjoy entertainment.